So this is like when your friends are famous. Is it? Okay. And the other two? This is okay. it. Okay. okay, last one before lunch. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who's next? All right. Yeah. Oh. So normally no. this, this yes. is what it's like when your friends are famous. What's going on, and man? And you got to wait to talk to them while people time the conversation. Man, come on, man. Sack, what's going on, What's up, man? Deontay? Yo, Marcus what's... Allen, man. Ready to start this junket? Where the camera at? What is... You're right there. Man, I'm so excited. Man, listen, if you in Sacramento and you watching this, you look at this dude. Let me see. How do we... You're watching all over the world. If I'm you... sitting down while people time my conversation with my friend. I love <laughs> this, man. Yo, we out here, man. Y'all better represent. Y'all better stand up for sack, man. All right. We out. We in L.A. acting like we be some big time people, man. You on Floor Road right now? <laughs> you in uh, Oak Park? Wherever you at? All right, D-Wade, <laughs> we got to do a junket. Two shot on Be Pretty Please, and Mr. Oh. Deion Taylor is going to tell you about the intruder. May 3rd. Okay, Sorry to bust you into the Facebook Live. You, man. I'm so happy Thank for you, you, man. Thank you, man. You look good, too, man. You look, I got to dress up for you. Camera's All right. <laughs> My friend, man, dude, I just gotta come over there, man. I gotta <laughs> tell you, they say a sign of success is when you're as happy for your friend's success as your own. That's and right. Last night when I saw Dion Taylor pop up at the end of this movie, I go, yeah, yeah. that's come the way on, to do man. it. Yes, you got a hit. I hope, man, it's 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 playing like it, man. I'm um, I'm really excited. I'm I'm more excited about the movie. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. experience in the movie theater, like. Last night, I popped my head in there for a second, and I went out. And yeah. uh, we had just screened it the night before, and I was like, man, people are, like, screaming and yelling. And I said, oh, this is going to be great. You're good at yeah. all genres, but, but you, you have a way with horror that is unique. What's the movie that you saw when you were a kid? You said, I want to do that. I want to scare people when I grew up. I want to thrill them. It was, it was a few movies that I really, really liked. Uh, Event Horizon. Of course. Is one of, my, Lawrence Fishburne. one of my favorite horror movies of all time. And um, Strangers, mm -hmm. you know, as I got older, you know, this movie is not that old, but it was one of the most weird, scariest movies I've ever seen. Right. And um, I just loved all of them. And in this film, you know, this movie doesn't take itself that serious, but it gets really scary. <laughs> and uh, it's great. The snapshot of this movie is one thing, but if you really pick it apart, this is a good old-fashioned monster movie. That's it, and man. you have created a monster. Right. Dennis Quaid... Like silence at the lambs He's level, incredible. indelible He's images. Incredible. He's incredible. Like seriously, when you pull it all the way back, all day, man, I've been telling, we've been having conversations about him. Right. This guy's incredible in this movie. I mean, he's incredible. I mean, from the beginning, you're laughing, you're like laughing at the screen, you're talking about him. Right. And then all of a sudden, you go, wait, he's, uh, he's crazy. And then at the end, you're like, what is, yeah, it's that good. He's that good. And in order for him to be that good, the heart of the movie, you have to be able to put yourself in the footprints of the people living through this, whether That's you're right. Jamie, That's right. pretending you're a teenager yeah. babysitting with Jamie Lee Curtis. In this movie, you have this couple, and yeah. they're likable, lovable, the people you know. Yeah, you know them, and they're flawed. And uh, I thought that was really good about Michael and Megan. Like, when I went into the movie with them, one of the things I wanted to really draw from for them was to make sure they were real. Mm -hmm. I didn't want them to be movie star people. Right. I wanted them to have a problem in their relationship. They have, you know, is deficient in a lot of ways. And Michael Ely's character, he's more of a millennial. Right. He he doesn't work with his hands. He uses the phone for everything. He yeah, works yeah. in the bay. You know what I mean? He's like, he's moving around. And she's lacking a real man that way. And Dennis Quaid is a man's man. He's like pounds nails and fixes homes and fix your carburetor. You know what I mean? And he comes in and he basically fills a void. And in a in a very weird way, she like she likes that. And then all of a sudden she goes, wait a minute, you're trying to you're trying to get me. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's great. This is really good. The movie's so good. Thank I know you. you've worked so hard. If ever there was a moment you thought about quitting, certainly you did the right yeah. thing because the next chapter is the best. I, I appreciate that. Good to see and you. listen, man, Excellent. everybody in Sacramento, please, man, get up. Go see the movie, man. We we making films right out of our city. We doing it independently, man. I love y'all. Thank you so much for all the support, man. This one, you gotta go see this, man. You got you gotta go see this. It's crazy. I second that. Yes, thank you, thank you, man. Hey, did you like that? There's more where that came from. Be sure and like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Remember, every time the bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Are they mocking me? 
They're mocking me, aren't they? Yeah, just watch some videos over there. And y'all shut up. <laughs>